Yo, people ask me all the time, why do I focus so much on becoming financially free? What is really financial freedom? How can I obtain financial freedom? What is really all about? How do we do that? What is the wealth building system and all that other stuff? How do we, how do, how do you obtain financial freedom? What's the true definition of financial freedom? I hear these questions all the time when I talk about financial freedom. Right, so in this video, I want to get into that. I want to talk about what financial freedom is and how to really obtain financial freedom. But before that, before I do that, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is actually they call me Devon Put in Work Burke, the wealth builder himself. And if you like videos like this, talking about financial freedom and things of that nature subscribe to the channel because we talk about making more money saving more money building a better you and business all right so without further ado let's get to the topic on hand why is financial freedom so important all right so i'm out here walking my dog in the neighborhood in the middle of the day right <clears throat> it's a beautiful day you know so i just want to talk about financial freedom because that's what i have right and I want you to obtain the same thing, you know? I want you to obtain financial freedom too. And the real thing about financial freedom, the beautiful thing about financial freedom is it could be whatever you want it to be. It could be whatever you want it to be, right? It could be living, you know, working a nine to five, but able to take no vacations, whatever you want to take vacations. It's, it could be, you know, you having running a business, owning your own business, and making enough money to support your family and pay the majority of the bills, things of that nature, and be able to do whatever you want to do with your money, things of that nature. Whatever you decide financial freedom to be, it can be. But one thing that is across the board is that you're not worried about money. Okay, money comes to you easily, comes to you regularly. You live an abundant lifestyle, meaning abundant lifestyle. What does that mean, right? You're not stressing over your bills. You can save money. You can take your family out when you want to. You can pay for things when you want to. You live an abundant, stress-free, especially over money, never stressing over money lifestyle. That's what financial freedom is, okay, across the board, right? Now, with that being said, how much money do you need to be financially free? Right? How much money do you need to be financially free? That is a decision you have to make. Okay? That's the decision you have to make. No one can make that decision for you. All right? It could be $10,000 a month. It could be $8,000 a month. It could be a hundred grand a month. Whatever that goal is, right? Or whatever that amount is, that's up to you. That's on you. Not on me, not on them, not on your family, okay? Not on your friends. You, your personal view on what you need to spend, you know, and what you need to have a decent, financially free lifestyle. And again, a financially free lifestyle doesn't always mean that you don't have a job. A financially free lifestyle doesn't mean you don't, you know, have things to do and you're not a busy person, okay? Financially free means that you're not stressing over money, all right? You're paying your mortgage, okay? You're paying your car notes. You're saving money. You're traveling. You can buy, you know, jewelry when you want to buy jewelry. You could buy, you know, Chick-fil-A when you want to buy Chick-fil-A. You could buy Chipotle when you want to buy Chipotle, okay? Financially free doesn't mean you have to have a Benz. Financially free doesn't mean you have to have a plane, okay? Financially free doesn't mean you have to have um, expensive things in every category of your life, right? That's not what financially free means. And that's not what being financially free is. I mean, it can be, you know? You can acquire finance, um, fancy things and luxury vehicles and, lu and, and big homes and live in a luxurious neighborhood and do luxurious things and be financially free. Yes, you can do that. But the thing is, that's not what being financially free 
exactly is or has to be, okay? Like I said, you can live comfortably and be financially free. Now, <clears throat> like I said, with all that being said, what's the what's what's the amount, right? 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 a month is on you, okay? So we got that part, right? We got that part. Now, so how do you acquire this, right? How do you get to this point? How do you make it where you are making $10,000 or more? Because in my opinion, I feel like $10,000 is the level of financial freedom for most people. $100,000 or more a year can make most people financially free in most neighborhoods. Not all cities, not all neighborhoods in America, but the majority, right? Oh, you, and you're getting there. If you're making a hundred grand a year, you're getting there, okay? You're getting close to being financially free, especially if you live in places where, you know, you don't need that type of money to live comfortably. So financially free is $100,000 or more a year. Okay, we've got that part. Now, with that right, being how said, do you get how do you get there? Well, in my opinion, you need a full-time job, okay? decent make money make about 40 to 50 grand a year okay that's eh, decent decent money right livable sustainable lifestyle okay money. so how do you do that how do you become financially free okay so you've gotten your fifty thousand dollar job right your fifty thousand dollar job now you use what we call other people's money you can use other people's money to start your online business or you can you know bootstrap it yourself it's up to you and you create a side hustle. Now, a side hustle can consist of anything that you like, okay? You don't want to be passionate about it. It doesn't have to be passion. It could be something that you just like, okay? Something that you're interested in and that makes money. All right, so as long as it makes money, then then you can, you can um, use it to build you a side hustle now your goal for that side hustle is 50 grand 50 grand a year now once it becomes 50 grand a year then you can use that to create more income use that 50 grand to either build out your business to where it becomes a full-on business and not a side hustle or you can take that, 50, that extra 50 grand in that year and invest it in passive income Okay, you can invest it in dividend stocks. You can invest it in different op investment opportunities to build passive income. Okay, and that passive income becomes what? Financial freedom. See how it works out? See how it starts to work out? How it becomes financial freedom? It starts to become financial freedom because that money makes money for you and you're not working for it. Okay, you're not spending hours and hours a day working for that money anymore. That money is just coming to you because of your investments. That's what financial freedom is. It's free dumb. Okay, money coming to you without you having to clock in or put work in. Okay, or have to put that much work in. Okay, you can put in, you know, two hours a day and then go about your business. Wouldn't that sound great? Two hours a day, $10,000 a month, $15,000 a month, right? So... That's what you want to get it to, right? That's what that's the level you want to get it to. Most people think, you know, oh, I gotta, I gotta make sure my side hustle pays me just as much or more than what I make uh, a year. That's not the case. That's not the case. Okay, you gotta start slow. You gotta start somewhere. Okay, you can't just jump out the water and be and be and be balling like the people you see online because the people you see online most likely been doing it before you even knew who they were. And then by the time you found out who they were, they were already on the top of their game. And then now you're wondering, hey, man, I wanna get there. But you weren't there when they were when they were hustling and struggling and grinding and putting in the effort, putting in the three to four or five hour nights after work, right? You weren't there. You didn't see that part. Okay, so it's definitely some time to it. So let's go over, I know this video has been all over the place, I'm out here walking my dog, but let's go over how you do it, right? You get your decent income around $50,000 a year. Then you use that income to start a side business. You get it up to about forty dollars to $50,000 of what you already make, comparable to what you already make in your day job, right? 
Now, as you're as you're getting it up to that income, you take that a portion of that income and reinvest it into passive income investment opportunities like dividend dividend stocks, real estate, things of that nature. Something passive that's going to bring you income. And then once you that passive income starts to roll in, you reinvest. You keep reinvesting. You keep reinvesting until that income starts to grow. And then once that income starts to grow to the point of where it's covering your bills and covering your lifestyle, then you take that money, the extra money, and keep building your business to the point of where you don't have to work anymore. That's how you create financial freedom. Okay? So until next time, Wealth Builders, make more, save more, build more. Peace.